Hello everyone, hope you are all doing well. Today we are going to discuss about real angles because it is also an important part to understand the real angles or the angles present in the eye. So let's move on. Okay. What are real angles? These are the angles of the subtended at the human eye. Three types of angles on the basis of axis of the eye. Axis of human eye, what are these axes? Optical axis, real axis, fixation axis, and pupillary axis. We will discuss it in later video. But before, three types of angles. There are three types. They are kappa, gamma, and alpha angles. And they are based on the axes of the eye which are these also so what are these axes optical axis it is a line that is passing from the centers of all the structures present like it is a line that passes from the center of cornea center of lens or just center of hope, uh, eye if there's a cross correctly wo line jo ke her structure ke center se pass karegi ya eye ke center se pass karegi that will be the optical axis so you can read over here the line passing through center of cornea lens and the retina is the optical axis right real axis with the name you can see it's real axis matlab wo axis jo ke object se originate karegi so the line that is passing ya joining from the fixation point or the point on which your object pe jo point aap focus kar rahe ho ya fixation point ya jo point jis pe aap focus kar rahe ho ya wo point jo ha pe object hai wahan se leke for example this red dot is an object so the line that is joining the fixation point the object right the nodal point it is in the center of the lens nodal point is present in the center of the lens and the fovea over here jo ke image bana raha hai is object ki jo image fovea pe ban rahi hai hum keh rahe hain ki jo wo line jo ke join karegi object aur fovea ko while it is passing the crossing from the nodal point it is a real axis so the line joining the the line joining the fixation point nodal point and the fovea is real axis fixation axis now it's same you can see over here it's an optical axis this one here it is fovea so the line joining the object to the fovea is a real axis and the line that is joining from the object or the point of fixation to the center of eye jo eye ka center hai hum udhar tak jo line pass karegi wo hamare paas fixation axis hogi right so the line joining the fixation point and the center of rotation point of the eye सेंटर ऑफ रोटेशन पॉइंट इज ऑल्सो देंटर ऑफ दी आई जो हमारे पास अगर हम इसको सेंटर ऑफ रोटेशन पॉइंट कहें तो आई बोल जो इक्वली मूव कर रही है राइट right? या जो इक्वली रोटेट कर रही है हम उसे सेंटर ही कहते हैं तो इट इज ए फिक्सेशन एक्सेस प्यूपुलरी एक्सेस यू कैन लर्न और रिमेम्बर इट फ्रॉम हेयर दैट द लाइन विच इज रिलेटेड टू प्यूपल राइट सो द लाइन दैट इज crossing from the point of fixation for example over here it is an object so the line joining the fixation point and the center of the pupil and extending further right so that is the pupillary axis the line starting from the point of fixation to the center of the pupil is the pupillary axis right over here you can see that the line that is passing from the center is optical axis line from object to the fovea is real axis and line from the object to the center of the eye is the you can see over here it is the fixation axis right okay so these are all the key points like p is the over here is center of pupil n is the center of lens nodal point c is the center of rotation the point your center of the eye fixation point is o or the object op is the pupillary line over here you can see op is the pupillary point oh, sorry line 
that is from the object to the over here it will pass from the center of the pupil right <laughs> angles of the eye are three i already have told you that they are angle kappa or it is kappa according to the languages hum ise kappa bhi kehte hain aur kappa bhi kehte hain so you can use any either of the names angle alpha or angle gamma so angle kappa or angle kappa is the angle formed between between the pupillary axis and the visual axis so the line that is okay so the angle that is formed between pupillary axis and the visual axis if we we are going to discuss or see over here uh over here you can see the that is the pupillary axis सेंटर ऑफ द पीपल सो वो लाइन जो कि ऑब्जेक्ट से लेके सेंटर ऑफ पीपल से पास कर रही थी वो हमारे पास क्या थी प्यूपलरी एक्सिस और वो लाइन जो कि ऑब्जेक्ट से फोविया तक जा रही थी वो हमारे पास थी रियल एक्सिस तो जो एंगल हमारे पास प्यूपलरी एक्सिस और रियल एक्सिस के दरमियान दिस वन दिस एंगल इन विच माई डॉट इज प्रेजेंट और द रेड डॉट इज प्रेजेंट यू कैन सी वो हेयर दिस इज द एंगल कापा right angle alpha the angle formed between optical axis and the visual axis optical axis kya hai jo center se pass kari aaye ke aur visual axis kya hai jo object se fovea tak line jo pass kari hai so optical axis aur visual axis ke darmiyan mein jo angle banega wo hamare paas hoga angle alpha the angle formed between optical axis and fixation axis optical axis center of the eye so jo axis ya line jo ke center of structures of the eye are center of eye se pass kar rahi hai right that is the optical axis and fixation axis is the line that is passing from the object or joining the object to the center of the rotation of eye ball it is the fixation axis so in dono ke darmiyan mein optical or optical axis this is optical axis or yahan center of fixation ke darmiyan mein ye jo angle banega it is angle gamma So over here you can see optical axis or sorry यहाँ पे optical axis और real axis के दरमियान में जो angle बनेगा optical axis और real axis के दरमियान that is angle alpha जो optical ex uh, हमारे पास optical axis और fixation axis के दरमियान में angle बनेगा वो हमारे पास angle gamma over here angle gamma over here that it is angle alpha or yahan pe jo pupillary axis or real axis ke darmiyan mein hai it is angle gamma right so this was all about real angle if you have any query regarding to the topic you can comment in the comment section and thank you so much